Welcome to another episode of The Bachelorette. I am your host, Sips Harrison. Tonight, we have got another thrilling episode in store for you and what will truly be one of the most shocking episodes in Bachelorette history. AC Volts will be going on another one-on-one -on -one date and attempting to soul search and find love while wading the waters through group dates and challenges. And tonight, in maybe the most shocking moment, Shocking moment. Shocking moment. that I've ever seen in my career hosting this show, hearts will be broken, battle lines will be drawn, and tests will be taken. The producers, AC and myself, are wondering, is there love out there to be found? Will AC make it through this, and will she find the love that she is searching for? She's placed her heart on the line. Will you stay tuned? I'm standing here with AC Volts, who is preparing to go on another one-on-one -on -one date. AC, what is in store for the date, and with whom have you planned it? So, uh, I gave my chair to uh, Playboy Prometheus this week. Oh, shout out Pee Pee! After he showed up on my one-on-one -on -one last week with El Mejor Luchador, Felt like it was time to give him a chance. Sure, that was tactful, and everybody, then, every man that interrupts deserves a chance. Absolutely, Sips. And I don't know what we're gonna be doing yet. He just told me to be at his house in about oh, an hour. <laughs> Is he gonna have you clean up beer bottles? I don't know, Sips. Because <laughs> you can clean up mine if you'd like. I would prefer not to. Great. Breaking my heart. I'm pretty smart. I must be such a temptress. Well, you are a guy. Well, there's no way I'd depart. You have a sexy flair. Oh, honey, if I told you, my lord, oh, I'd give you my chance. with AC Volts. AC about to go on another group date. What is in store for tonight's group date, AC? Well, Sips, uh, tonight I thought I would have the guys explore their artistic side uh, and do some art for me. Art? Yeah. Why art? Well, after last week's, I would call them 
emotionally stunted uh, toasts that were mostly about them and not really about me at all. I thought I would have them use art. Why art? Well, art's been really important to me during quarantine. Has it? Yes. We've talked about this. I drew you a, a self-portrait of yourself. It's not a self-portrait because I drew it, but it, it was like the way you would have drawn it. Right. Anyway, art's been really important to me during quarantine. And I thought that if I could get them to do a little bit of art, they might open up and really share how they feel. Uh-huh. And remember to stay tuned for what will truly be a heart-stopping, blood-boiling, history-making, shocking, original, never-before-seen moment in Bachelorette history. Art is really important to me, and when I challenged all the guys to give me uh, artwork that represents how they feel about me, I was really expecting them to open up a little bit more than they had, and I was not let down. In fact, I was so moved that I thought it was unfair of me to ask them to be so vulnerable for me and for me not to respond in kind. So I went ahead and responded to each of their artworks with one of my own so they know they know how I feel about them too. So this is me flying head first in a storm of AC bolts. Cause that's what this is. I'm ready for this. I'm ready for love. Also, it's me flying about Zio. Cause he's a jerk. Education had a, a great drawing of our love as a storm, uh, which I thought um, was great because it indicated a, a sort of passion uh, that I didn't even realize was there until I saw his artwork. So when I made my response artwork, I wanted it to be something uh, similar. Uh, so I also drew our love in a storm and um, I, you know, I just, I hope he likes it. What's up, AC? Art therapy was an awesome idea. It was a great chance for me to think about our pasts in QAW and our potential future together. You know, between my loss in the election and that close loss to James Maloney and your business with the generation and that situation that happened with baby powers and sex trap, I decided to draw this. What we have is a tiny little suitcase because it's pretty clear that we both have a little bit of baggage. And I'm cool with that. Um, Zip had a great point. We're both people who have a little bit of a history, a little bit of baggage, and that uh, will only bring us closer together. And so I wanted to respond to his artwork with something similar as well, which is why I also drew baggage, but baggage is capable of love. Hey, she, uh, Playboy here. Uh, I had a great time on our date earlier. I mean, I'm sure you had a great time too, uh, but that doesn't mean you don't deserve more. So um, I'm here again, because you know, I'm better than everyone else. I'm sure everyone else brought you something really stupid. Uh, I'm sure El Mejor Luchido probably couldn't even find art, even though it's basically everything, but I actually want to give you the greatest piece of art known to man, uh, the greatest gift of all. And that was of course myself. Uh, because what is more beautiful than that? So uh, you take care, baby, all right? PP and I had a great one-on-one -on -one date, and then he didn't actually do any art. He just said that he was the art that he was offering me, which I totally understand. So I also wanted to give him something abstract of myself, uh, just give of myself to him. And so I went ahead and did an abstract self-portrait. Hey, AC Volts, it's me, Zio. Uh, I know I was in your bottom two last week, but I still see a future with you. And if there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I'm real, which is why for my art project, I drew a hyper-realistic portrait of you, AC Volts, on our future wedding day. Now, I'm sorry if this is so realistic that it reaches uncanny valley territory, but this is how I see our future. And I know that this is exactly how you see it too. And that's just proof of the connection that we have. I look forward to exploring that with you. 
Zio um, drew me a lovely um, portrait of me on our, our wedding day, which, um, okay, so I went ahead and did my interpretation of him on our wedding day. Steve was eliminated two weeks ago, and I'm pretty sure that was just a video of him thawing chicken. So I just went ahead and confused chicken, you know what I mean? They say you should express yourself. They say art can unlock what's inside. They say this is a safe space where squirrels can be vulnerable without being seen as nuts. This is a big step for us, but putting yourself out there is a risk worth taking, and we feel safe opening up to our fellow squirrels. So here it is, a drawing titled, The Dream of Winter. As you can see, we've left our robot suits outside and are safe in our stick den, which is big enough for both of our prides in a pile of nuts so big that they get blurry and less defined as they go back into the distance. And while outside amidst the snowfall, sneering in the silhouette of the full moon, stands the beast, the loathsome, horrific animal who waits for our weakest to fall, for our casualties to become his feast. This howling, vicious creature stands far, far away in the distance because even the beast can't take on two prides of squirrels. Yours and ours. Anyway, that's my dream winter. Please don't show this to the others. They won't get it because they're not squirrels like us. They ask what we drew, just make something up and remind them not to touch our nuts. Don't touch our nuts. Don't touch our nuts went really dark with his artwork, which I found inspirational. I loved the vulnerability and I wanted to give him something that showed that I think that he can do this. You know, he can do winter even without me if he needs to. Um, so this is uh, Deton in the winter. Look at all those nuts. I won't touch them. <laughs> so I have shown you AC volts, my sensitive side, and I've shown you that I can be a jealous protector, but I also want this week to show you that I can take care of you in other ways. That's why I was excited when you said that we were going to be doing art because I want to share with you my art, the art of cooking. Lay rises, so shall I rise to the occasion of being your new man. Should I have made an erection joke? Would that have been sexy? And El Mejor Luchador, wow, what a beautiful souffle. And I loved, um, I loved the risque joke about the erection at the end, so I just went ahead and fulfilled your dream. This is a souffle with an erection. Send me a message saying I need to give my blood to the doctor and retag with him. It's bullshit. I'm not doing it. Ever since you joined this show, all you care about is your own career and pissing off the My own career. The yeah. only thing I cared about was you and making sure that you, who were at rock bottom, found someone rock who was gonna pick bottom? you up. Rock fuck bottom you. drinking. Oh fuck, fuck you. you. Hey, guess what? I'm not returning to the generation. And I told them, too bad. Well, if you can't return to the generation, you can't be on the show anymore, so get the fuck out. Fine, I don't want to be on the show. Yeah, no I can't believe you're staying with the generation. I hate to break it to you. If you stick with the generation, you'll never find true love. And if you don't like that, too bad, Adam. This is bullshit. I'm fucking done. Somebody just sipped. Oh, James. Hold it. J 
James. Did anybody see him? Like you can't even believe what has just happened. AC Volts is incredibly upset after what has just happened. Um, so, As I'm sure that you can understand, yes. Um, it's fine. I don't even care. Um, I just, I just assumed he'd want to stay on the show and, and come back to the generation, and I guess I just, I didn't realize. I didn't realize he didn't he didn't want to be here and he didn't he didn't want to be with us anymore and, and that's fine I don't even care. We're all concerned for the future of this show. We're not certain that we'll be able to find a conclusion or that AC will be able to find love. For me. I think that you've been through a lot and you deserve a drink. kicked James off. I hope he's okay. Um, they say they've taken him to the Cambridge Hospital. So, we'll see. I don't even care though. Anyway, we have to kick someone off. And the producers tell me that Education and, and Zio have had a lot of drama uh, uh, that I may not even be aware of uh, in the house uh, and in the ring. And then it's time to let him fight it out. Stay tuned for that match, ladies. I'm getting word right now that Boston's biggest bad boy, James Maloney, has somehow escaped the ambulance. What? And again, our team is looking for him. Stay tuned, and hopefully we'll be able to find love for AC Volts and a resolution to what has happened this evening. Stop drinking. I'm Sips Harrison. <laughs> Uh, You're disgusting. You're disgusting. Fuck off. Fuck you. Oh. Education, you've got some nerve bringing up our beef in front of AC Volts, okay? I'm here for her, all right? But if you're here to talk about Zio, then it's Zio you're going to get, okay? Yeah, I am the reason you have a periodic table of elements tatted on your leg. Why don't you check what number 19 is, huh? Because I'm going to kick your potassium all over this ring. Yeah, I'm not in school, but it's not because I'm stupid, okay? I just have untapped potential. Zio, as a teacher, I'm supposed to care about all my students, but I don't care about you. I want you to think about what you've done to me. Because of you, I have a periodic table of elements on my leg. And although that's surprisingly useful and comes up more often than you would think. It's a sign of my failure every day. So tonight, you and me in the ring, 
because afterwards only one of us is going to detention. And now the educator himself, Eddie Cation, formerly a ghost, taking on Zio in this showdown for The Bachelorette. And speaking of Bachelorette, we have her back on commentary. Welcome back to the booth, AC Volts. It's great to be back. I missed you guys last week. Oh, I missed you too. You have a good New Year's? Um, I think so. I don't remember a lot of it. As is tradition. Traveled the world with, uh, you know, juice box, just... Uh, Drinking, uh, drinking in all of the local culture. So Absolutely. Perfect. Because <laughs> he's juice box. He truly really is. Yeah. Well, we're back in. Uh, it's another elimination. Eddie Cation up this week against Zio, who we, as uh, folks might remember, about two weeks ago, he defeated Steve Delfino to stay in the competition. So yet again, Zio back in here. He, he seems to be a, uh, well, not, not a... Not one of the top contenders on the on the show as of yet, AC. You know, definitely not at first because of the age uh, right. situation. But, you know, he fought against Steve Delfino. I don't want to use the word valiantly lightly. You know what? I don't want to use the word valiantly at all. He did well. And, you know, I got to respect that. And he's been putting in effort uh, since then to prove that he's really in this for the right reasons. And I respect that. Zio only does things for the right reasons. That's why he calls everyone butt chunks. Absolutely. I did ask him if uh, if I could come by Hot Topic sometimes, and he poked me in the eye. So Zio certainly, uh, he, he doesn't show his allegiance, allegiances frequently, AC. So at the very least, he does seem to be enamored by you. Yeah, and you gotta love that. I mean, who doesn't want everyone obsessed with them and I feel bad putting Eddie up this week I do because I haven't really gotten that close to him yet but the beef between these two just made it seem like I didn't really have a choice you know Mm -hmm. head over to our latest sponsor qwmerch.com forward slash golf beef if you want to have a slice of protein with colored the color of Zio, purple and black Absolutely. All of our goth beef is freshly bloody because that's what goths are into, I think. And uh, if you love your goth beef, make sure you wash it down with some gargoyle cola. That's right. Gargoyle cola. Get some stone with your beef. What a Goliath flavor. Absolutely. Well, I don't want to insult our sponsors, but that's a disgusting meal. <laughs> it really it sucks. <laughs> In medieval times, it's all they had. They were just lucky to have carbonated water. Look, Thank ever, you, Merlin. Look, ever since Dippin' Dots left, we've really been uh, we've even hurting for sponsors, so we're going with that. But uh, already, whoa, jumping, spinning DDT there from Eddie. Uh, yeah, it's, it's I, you, you might risk uh, well, a little bit of a ratings uh, dip if Eddie's voted off. You know how popular he is, AC. Yeah, he seems like a really nice guy. And I think that's probably part of the problem. You know, I have not gone out with a lot of nice guys. I don't really know how to act around them, you know? Splash there from education as he's looking to spread Zio across the mat. A reminder, folks, uh, this isn't the first time that Eddie and Zio have gone one on one. Uh, you see that tattoo on the on Eddie's right calf there of the periodic table. That's because he lost to Zio in a bet uh, all those months ago. So certainly, Zio, bit of a problem child uh, in Eddie's eyes. Oh, Meteora there digging both knees into the scapula, and Zio, he's looking for some companionship. I understand that Devlin's advocate is stuck in an infinite time loop backstage. The infinite time loop that he is having a lot of trouble getting out of. But speaking of companionship, uh, AC, as we just, I mean, uh, the generation has returned, as you saw earlier in their opening contest, victorious over all access. Uh, is this, uh, can you perhaps give us any background on that? Uh, well, you know, it was a great fight. And- well, it is down! Oh! Down he goes. But go ahead, AC. Right oh, wait, 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 wait. Cover, cover. One. Kick out at one. Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, geez. Wow. Um, yeah, it was a great fight, and I obviously knew they were going to win. It just like the vibe was, you got to win. You know, the generation's back, baby. You got to get out there and start knocking heads together and 
getting those titles back, getting those belts back. Uh, we're not we're not stopping for nothing anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, it certainly seems that. Uh, I mean, no mercy shown towards Boston's biggest bad boy, James Maloney, just before this that vicious attack backstage, and uh, you know now he's wait, hold on, Eddie going for the binder, but not going for oh. the cover. Wait, now he is one. Two, kick out a two. But also, you, uh, you've you removed him from the Bachelorette. Uh, it seems that all ties with James Maloney have been severed. Yeah, I don't like the way that went down. Uh, I wish it had gone down with less drama. Who am I kidding? I loved every minute of it. Look, I asked him why he wasn't coming back. It didn't go well. One, I told him he couldn't stay. Two. Zio can stay. Oh. Continue. Go ahead. Uh, and he just, you know, as you saw, flipped out. So, what can you do? Certainly did. Oh, crotch shot. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. And, well, what you can do is enjoy some delicious chow enjoy, whether it's with a partner or by yourself, as we imagine Boston's Biggest Bad Boy is doing. It's a real place! Absolutely, and detention's a real place as well. We just saw Eddie hitting detention on Zia there, but failing to keep him down. Both of these men still in the contest here, and, well, I mean, it, it, it certainly seems that uh, you and uh, Playboy Prometheus are getting along quite well there, AC. Yeah, we had a great one-on-one uh, -on -one date this week, honestly. Mm -hmm. Just a great time. Really great to just see someone in person and get to hang out with them. Uh, you know, super fun. Absolutely. I, I, I gotta say, watch your, the connection between you two is palpable. It started to get me hot and bothered. Well, it doesn't take much for you, does it? That's very it true. It doesn't! I'm horny all the time, but now see you bringing up Eddie. Rising knee strike there from Eddie, and we actually saw Zio use Chow and Joy on Eddie Cation, the eponymous move of Boston's biggest bad boy, and now Eddie looking to get revenge for having a man's ass in his face. Absolutely. He calls that the moon of Uranus. Um, shout out to his uh, definitely human tag partner, Devin's Advocate. One. Two. Oh, kick out a two. I wonder if they use the human numbering system on Uranus. Well, they very well might. Uh, as you might know, QAW is looking to open up a uh, new performance center on Uranus. Uh, if anyone has any connections. Whoa, whoa, Eddie going to the ropes there. Wow. Wow. That Twer was nimble. Yeah, it certainly cool. was. Do you like a nimble man there? Careful. Cover. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> Kick out a two. If you're nimble, be careful, AC. Be nimble, be quick, they say. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Jack, be thick. Thank Jack jumped know. over the candlestick, which is, of course, a euphemism. And if you like euphemisms, head over to QAWmerch.com forward slash thick candles. They're shaped like what you think. That's our other sponsor here, folks. As we, as you know, oh, what? Oh, whoa! The inverted Phoenix oh. splash there, but Eddie getting out of the way. Did not go well. Lands face first as if he was trying to pay a genuine compliment and then got ignored because he looks weird. Right now, Eddie looking to, looking to hit that triangle drop kick right across the face of Zio. Wow. Eddie's really showing some excellent high flying ability here. Oh! Frog splash thwarted with a oh. double knee. But no, Eddie back up to his feet immediately. He's starting to get a better grasp on his human body, it would seem. That's good news for me. Absolutely. Well, I mean, Patrick Swayze made it happen in terms of ephemeral romance. You never know. Yeah, but the whole time they were making out, it was just Whoopi Goldberg, right? Oh! Planting wow. Zio with a diving DDT on a full ice cream sandwich! I can't believe he connected a move to the outside, but I mean, yeah, I, I, I have to agree with you, AC. It doesn't take much to get me going, but the idea of going at it with a ghost seems difficult to say the least. Yeah. One! Kick out at one. Ooh. Absolutely, and use that hashtag Whoopi if you'd like to get us <laughs> involved with Whoopi Goldberg for more Whoopi content. Absolutely, make sure to retweet QAW and tweet it at Whoopi Goldberg. Uh, she very well. Reminder, folks, our next pay per view is going to be on Valentine's Day weekend. If you want Whoopi Goldberg to make an appearance, make sure to tweet at her. <laughs> Tag her on Instagram. Our biggest supporter and celebrity endorser, Whoopi Goldberg, as has been true since March of 2020. Yep, Eddie, can't, Eddie, Eddie seemingly can't decide where to get get back in the ring from, but uh, they're still going at it. These are two, uh, both of these competitors, quite nimble, quite agile there, AC. Nimble, quick, thick. Yeah, we've covered it. Absolutely. Here's the thing, though. I have some questions about that tattoo. Uh-huh. 
I don't think I've ever seen a solid white tattoo like that. <laughs> Just the lettering of the periodic table. You need a microscope, though. If you ever got close enough to Eddie, I bet he'd let you... Or, excuse me, I'm sure... Yeah, no. I'm sure he would let you use a microscope on any part of his body. Mm-hmm. Wow, that was a... That was a long walk to a weird... One! <laughs> two! Welcome to the Mike Man booth. Well, much like how Piccolo has to shed his weighted armor, um, tattoo on the leg. But now Zio is... Zio I'm sorry, <laughs> what? Mom Spaghetti, it's ready. <laughs> it's ready. Whoa. Oh, looks like Whoa. Phoenix, su- Phoenix Suplex cradling Eddie like he wants to cradle AC Volts. Oh, oh my God, hitting that bridge. That is impressive strength there from Zio. Then I wouldn't say no to that. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, a, that's a hot position there. Certainly is. And now Eddie following up with a punch right to the mush. Zia rolling out, trips him up there. Has a hold of him. Flying head scissors brings down the educator, but Zio's winded. And also, I, I, I have to ask here. Uh, and bloody! AC, after that, after that vicious uh, jingle belt ladder match on Christmas Eve, War on Christmas, you threw your tag partner, Baby Powers, on top of a ladder. Has that caused any friction between the two of you as a tag team? We've we've talked, you know, we've been trying to heal since she died for 45 seconds. And uh-huh. and I think that even though it was my fault, we all know we get caught up in the heat of battle, so to speak. And and I was I was trying to win and I didn't care I didn't care who was in my way. I I'd love to say there was a conspiracy or we were fighting again, but we really are trying to make peace. Uh, especially since she's been to the other side and back now. She's she's a different person. Something's changed. Certainly seems that way. Running in Sagiri there from education. Looks like he's handspring moonsaulting Woo! right into the wow. heart of AC Volts. Uh-huh. One, two. My goodness. Wow. I mean, yeah, baby, baby powers perhaps uh, is going to have to get some consultation from uh, from Eddie there as far as uh, experiencing the other side. But now hitting Zio with the binder. Is that it? With Willard spinning around. He's so excited. One, two. He remembered he's a referee and he needs to count. Absolutely. But now it seems to be oh, just working the leg there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's good to know that you and Baby Powers are on good terms. Uh, as a women's tag team champion, certainly uh, you, you, you two might have some opponents coming up on Valentine's Day. That's for sure. Yeah, we can't we can't afford a divide between us right now. We know people are, you know, the tag teams are going to start coming for us and, and we have to be united. And we know that. So absolutely. A united front, a house divided against itself cannot stand, and that's especially true with recently deceased babies. Absolutely. Now Eddie scoots underneath. Look, hits Zio with the tension. Is Zio staying after school? One, two, no! Zio cannot be contained by any authority figure. Do you like a bad boy, AC Volts? I do, but right now I'm concerned that Willard can't count. We're all concerned about that, but I assure you. He holds up his fingers like he's like, that was two, right? Like, is he asking? Because <laughs> sometimes it looks like three, but he only counted two. One, two, no! He does. See, I, yeah, look he, at him. He, he's he, not sure. He's either asking to be peer reviewed or he's looking for approval. You can never tell with Willard, but now Zio hitting the lion's salt there. Oh! A move Eddie often goes for. One, two, three. Zio is victorious. Eddie Cation is, to quote baseball, out of there. Wow, the teenager is still in the contest, AC. And now Eddie has to, Eddie has to go. Any thoughts on uh, the results there? I, I mean, I'm... I've never been an educator, but it must be very humiliating to get beat up by your student, right? <laughs> so I, I feel for him. But I, again, am, am constantly in awe of Zio's ability to, to remain in a competition which he should have never been allowed to enter to begin with for legal reasons. Well, Zio certainly seems to be the underdog, but that's two times he's proven himself. Once against uh, the man who doesn't know where he is, Steve Delpino, now against his teacher. He very well could be a dark horse contender for uh, the, the, that final that final chair. Yeah, and I'm not saying I would challenge these results, but someone should make sure Willard can count to three before the next match, maybe. 
We'll get right on that. But either way, coming up right after this, it's our main event as the clown and Kung Fu Bruno take on the French fried potatoes and Magnifique Nordique and Nathan Burke. AC Volt, thanks so much for joining us yet again. Thank you so much for having me. These chips are delicious. There better not be a f- 